What are you thinking here? I'm thinking for Andrew, for Andrew take Williams. all the time you need. And, you know, my heart goes out to Andrew because if you are a professional in any field and you don't feel like you can show up to work and do what you do, and I'm presuming that he likes what he does, and that might be a leap, that might be true or untrue, but it seems like 11 years into his career, he's done pretty well, he's been a champion, number one overall pick, and he's made probably, I don't have the numbers, but I'll look it up. about $180 million in his career, and he's got another, man, $70 million waiting for him. Not that money's everything, but you get to a point in your job where you don't feel like you can show up again for the second time, my heart goes out to you, and I feel for you. How much money do you think he's made? I, I put it at 180. 195. Okay, not bad. And again, money's not the end-all, be-all. 195. So the one part of it for me is thinking about Andrew, and you know, I've had days, you've had days where you wake up in your bed and you you can't move, and it's like <laughs> I I can't I can't do it today, and you call your boss. Look, 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 stay home, you know, and he gives you the day. And you take a day. Yeah. I've never had a, a spot in my life where I need to miss a month or two months or however long he was out last time. It was about two months. I've never been in that spot either personally, health-wise. I'm not going to speculate what it is, but I've never had that in my life to where I've been un unable to answer the call. That being said, if I'm the Warriors and I look at this situation, this is now the second time that Andrew Wiggins is going to have to miss time Due to personal reasons, if I'm Joe Lacob and Mike Dunleavy, I'm moving on. That's it, Andrew. You go ahead and take care of yourself. Do what you need to do to be healthy. What no? But what if, be well. What if he's like, I'm, no, I, I, I'm back Sunday, ready to go. Well, you're back Sunday. Okay, good. Then See, we, that's we get to April, and uh, I'm going to trade you. Yeah, and you're more than welcome you're to do that. You're getting dealt. You're more than welcome you're to do that. You're getting dealt for five second-round picks. I can't do this anymore. I know, but that's why everything needs to be qualified, because we don't, we don't know the life event, and, um, and we don't even know if it is a life event. Exactly. We don't know anything, but if he's back next week, I think this is actually a big old nothing. But this is all in the shadow of last year, and for me... It's word choice, and it feels like the Warriors have now arrived at a spot where they are literally reading from what Andrew is telling him to say because that's the way he wants them to say it, and that's fine, but I think it's putting the Warriors in a really rough spot where they're going to have to keep saying it over and over. They're going to have to keep answering these questions, and please don't say it's the media's fault for asking the questions. That's absurd. That's absolutely absurd. This is beyond relevant. And no, the question is not what's going on. The question is how long is it going to take? Um, and and so, look, I do wonder this because I got a, a host of responses from people who have been in professional locker rooms about how they would handle this if this were a teammate. But we'd love to hear your calls, 888-957-9570, particularly on this idea. Is this hitting you different this year than it did last year due to the fact that it's the second time? Maybe it's the same issue. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's mental health. Maybe it's depression. And all of these things are beyond acceptable reasons. But I've had talks with bosses. Here's the other reality that I do not find insensitive at all. The other reality of professional life is if you cannot perform the job that you've been hired to do, then we can have all the compassion give all the support, back you completely, but at a certain point, if you can't do the job, we need to go find someone who can. Right. That would happen here for sure. For sure. If somebody had a life event, and you know this, between the six of us, we're doing okay on life events, for God's sakes. Jeez, Over the man. last three years. Between you, me, Bonte, Joe, uh, Steiny, and Goo? We've had probably 11 this, life events. This has been a lot. It's been a lot. And, and you know, everybody's good and all that stuff. But I, I yeah. just, like, we've all, we, and I don't know if Andrews is way worse or, or what. But but the point is, is, yeah, at a certain point, if you were like, I, I can't go. I just, I can't go. I can't go next week. I can't go the week after that. I can't go the week after that. I mean, Matt, Matt would go hire somebody else. Right.
Right. That's that's just life. That's the reality of it. Yeah, and you have a job. Last year, he missed 25 games in the regular season, and then he came back for the playoffs. And, okay. And you thought at the time, wow, he got over whatever it was, and I don't want to speculate on what it was, but he was able to work through whatever afflicted him last year through the, the last 25 games of the regular year, and he came back in the playoffs, and he played pretty well. Steiny's right. He played a lot. He played pretty well. And then you came back this year, and you thought, all right, Andrew, happy for you. You got by whatever you got by, and we've never heard about exactly what it was, and there are rumors, and every caller has their thoughts, and whatever. All your thoughts, and my thoughts, and Mark's thoughts, and Grandy, and Lucas, it's worth zero. It's worth a grand total of zero. Mm -hmm. And even, like, the truth. If we had the truth, it still doesn't matter. It comes down to what his employer thinks. Right matters if andrew wiggins is out because and i said this last year and i'll say it again his goldfish is really sick then we can all say well i mean you missed 25 games with a sick goldfish i mean what are you doing but maybe <laughs> maybe joe lakeham has a soft spot for goldfish maybe and so may you know we don't know it, I it have comes a soft down spot for goldfish i do too and yeah. I, I told my story last year and i won't bore you again with how my son's goldfish died, and I ran out and replaced it, and I, I passed it off as the same fish. Did it work? I can't remember. For three the days, the for three and that days. fish That's died right. yeah. three days later. There you go. And then I said, all right, we're not doing a third fish. <laughs> now you're going to get a hard reality. You're going to get a hard lesson about the circle of life, Hakuna Matata. Yeah. It means no worries except when you're trying to run out and get a goldfish at 7 at night. My point is, it doesn't matter what I think about Andrew's absence. If I'm the employer, and I see this again a second time, the number one of uh, the number one ability is availability, and he doesn't have it. So I got to move on. Um, Think about this: if it was the NFL, I'm sorry, Mark. No, no, go ahead. If he was an NFL player, he would have been cut last Maybe. May. Maybe it's a little bit of a different culture, right? and some of the people that I did, I told you I texted a bunch of ex athletes, and I love these. Some NBA, some MLB, okay. some NFL. Look at you, no NHL, man. Okay, try harder. Can I can I <laughs> share this? I just received one um, from. A very well known and beloved ex Bay Area athlete. Thank you. Keep all those of these, coming. All of dude. these names will remain completely private. No, but they all will Respect be. Respect my privacy. I do, okay. but they all will be accompanied by the appropriate amount as, of wetness. As they should. The only reason I bring this particular text Keep up. Keep them coming, Grant. He said, <laughs> he said something that many of the other athletes said. Another quick side observation. When you text these guys something that's different than what they're used to answering, they get back a lot quicker. If I had been like, hey, can you come on today? 80% of these dudes wouldn't have said anything. be like, the dummy is calling me again. That's so funny. But I'm like, hey, what do you think about this? They're all like, blah, 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 blah. and I mean like paragraphs. That's so like, great. They're like, hey, hon, I got to go sit down and text Willard back. And they like leave the room. These are long texts. Good. Because they've never been asked this before. And I appreciate you sharing, even if it's uh, anonymous. And I won't even play the game of me guessing who it is. Well, I'll tell you I don't want to get one right. I'll tell, I'll tell you and you've told me some of them, yeah. and it's awesome. Well, you probably know who some of them are. You just don't know in which order or which right. is where, who, what belongs to what. Yeah. Anyway, he said something that a few of the other guys also said, which is, now think about this. Most of these guys are like now in their 40s. So they're like... I look at it differently now than I would have when I was playing. Now, much more compassionate, right? much more global, much more family, much less machismo and all of that. Okay? So he says, I look at it differently now than I probably would have back when I played. We don't know anything about what the reasoning is to miss these games. So at this point, I'd have a little compassion for him. If it's that important for him to miss all the games last year and this year, it must be pretty serious. I would assume his teammates on the Warriors feel the exact same way. But think about what you just said. You assume the teammates feel the same way, except for you just said that when you were 25, right. you would have looked at it differently, and his Warrior teammates, well, except for they are all of 40 also, but <laughs> totally. right, some of them, those players are who you were back in the day. So I don't want to assume that all the Warrior players are just cool with this. And I have noticed that we're early in the process here, but do you remember last year? All of the players kind of gave the media the wink-wink of like, yo, 
You got no idea. This is, we are behind Andrew. Oh my God. You just, some things you just don't wish on anybody. You remember all those quotes? Yep. Yeah, we haven't heard that this time. No. And partially it's because maybe we haven't had the chance to even talk to them or ask them about it. Steve's the only one who's really had the opportunity to do so. So maybe after the game tonight, we start to get that, a little bit of a vibe of how, like Draymond after the game. Hey, Draymond, right? He's going to talk because he's Draymond. Yeah. I'm very interested to hear if they sort of strike the exact same tone of like, nothing to see here, we love Andrew, or if there is some veiled either frustration sure. or discomfort, which is what I felt from Steve yesterday. And we'll play that for you here in a sec. Good. I look forward to that. I, I heard uh, bits and pieces of it. I was just getting in the car after my uh, failed jury duty obligation, although I'm cleared for a year. I heard pieces of the Steve Kerr, and then I wasn't back in the car for 508 when you and Grandy teased it, that you were going to replay it. But I wonder as days go on, and it's easy now to say after a win – and the Warriors have been hot, and they handled Washington on the road, and the, the road winning streak continues. If you lose to New York, and then you turn around and you lose to Boston, maybe the frustration rears uh, itself just a little bit because, you know, you need Andrew, and Andrew is playing better, yep. and the team is playing great, and you're trying to make this push for the six, and right now you're still the ten, and Man, what the Lakers did last night was a uh, little was bit of a buzzkill. God dang it. Man, that LeBron James, good little player. Stupid He's got a bright little future. But I think depending on how these next games go, however long he's going to be out will lead to different feelings about his absence. Um, a lot of you want to weigh in. We'll go to the calls. But but here's when I circled back to Steve yesterday and said, wait a minute, is this, you know, is this potentially a, a similar length of time to, uh, to last year, and again, I'm not focused on what he said. I'm focused on how he said it. I, uh, I just think that, you know, we, we, we're in a position where, um, you know, Wiggs has, uh, is a private person, um, and so he's uh, asked to, to keep it private, and we're going to honor that. So, you know, it doesn't help for me to sit here and try to explain any of that. The bottom line is, um, you know, we – Respect Wiggs. We need him, um, and we fully expect him back, but we just don't know when what that will be. <sighs> we expect him back. Ooh, the sigh was real. The sigh was real. Yeah. Yeah, did you hear that? Here it was. I, uh, I just think that, you know, we, we were... Yeah, that right there. I just think that we... we uh, right. In other words, I'm answering this again. I don't want to answer this again. I understand I have to answer this again because here we are again. And I can't say... Don't know what to say. I can't say anything. Yeah. All I can say is that we respect Andrew and his privacy, and he's going to uh, up, 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 you know, handle and hit it the best that he can. And I'm not making fun of Steve. I'm just pointing out how awkward it is where Steve probably knows what it is. Of he can't he say what yeah. it is. But all he can say is that, you know, we're going to give Andrew his space and... You know, I want Andrew to play because he's a good player, and I want to win. And I just signed for two more years, yeah, darn that, it. That sentence just, it, it, it like, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Because we heard it over and over. We expect him back. We just don't know when that will be. Right. Ugh. I, like, and I think the Warriors get this. Maybe Andrew doesn't. I don't know. That sentence is really hard for fans. And I don't want anyone to feel sorry for fans. Andrew's obviously going something through something crazy. So this isn't about sympathy, but that's really hard for fans when you manage expectations that way. We expect him back, so that's telling people it's not like, right? It's not like a mental health crisis to the point where Andrew will never function again. Right. We expect him back. We just have no idea when. Well, hmm. I, I would just, that would be my suggestion. If I were a PR person, my like my suggestion would be put some sort of, just put some sort of expectation so you can make everybody go away for a little while. Like Andrew needs some time. Like right. You know when a football team comes out of a game and, and you know they've got that like, hey, how's, the, how's Dre Greenlaw? He's going to miss some time. Right. And you don't need to ask again for a while. If I tell you high ankle mean? sprain, you're going to miss some time. Six to eight. If I tell you torn Achilles, that's nine to 12, although now it's six to nine. Or four minutes. Tommy John, 
12 months. That's a year. ACL, 6 to 9. Or even just some time. Some Bone time, bruise, some time, 4 to 6. Yeah, some time it automatically just, means like, yeah, this, this is going to be a minute now. This is going to be a minute. Right. But right now, we're literally, I'm not 100% sure that he's not playing tomorrow night. And I'm not 100% sure that he hasn't played his last game as a Warrior. Also fair. I mean, also it, fair. It's there's no timeline for personal issues. Yeah, you know, Andrew Wiggins is going to be out two to four with personal issues. No, we, I, there's no way to to pinpoint that unless it's you know, and I don't think that it's a substance situation. If it was, then if he went to a 30 day rehab, then you okay, he's going to be gone for 30 days, and then he'll come back. Think. I don't know how we can or like you I, can't. I, I will say this: I this is the one thing you want to know what gets me about this conversation is when people are like, "You want to know what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on." Oh, I know exactly what's going on. Like, what and you have no like. <laughs> What? Why would you just throw certain specific things out? I give you a different. Here's a different answer. Different athlete. Ready for this one? Eight 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 nine five seven nine five seventy. Honestly, I would feel that this team is not their priority. I respect that they need to get their mind right to be their best. However, you made a commitment to us, so the going and coming wouldn't fly. Hmm. That's one of the other responses. So, and I know that one too. No, you don't. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to feel like I'm in the inner circle I'll right you, now. I'll tell you who it is. He played in the Bay. Played some other places too. Yeah, he did. FP. It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. If you want FP's takes, just go. Just go <laughs> just to go to the Odyssey app. Host. It was on this morning. <laughs>